you know. Ah, I'm that, holy cow. What happened now? I, I dropped my stick again. Well, you're going to have to get it, because I rolled Thank the Prius. Thank goodness I'm healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, careful, I, got, I got it. I got, I'm all right. Take it easy. I'm all, I go to get down to, I, think, I wish I had a road map. This is, I got it. It's all right. I got, I got it. I got it. Ah, it's, I got, got it. Got it. Good. Got it. All right. You. Are you okay? All right. Yeah, I'm just fine. I okay. think I'm just going to stay down here a while. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. That's good. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. It's watch hot. out. Don't, don't sit down on that. Please don't. <laughs> get a free colonoscopy with that. Oh, yeah. It's my Medicare Part B. Is it? <laughs> Boy, that'll open your enrollment. <laughs> No, one of my favorite groups ever to come out of the 70s was a group from California. We got any folks from California here today? Yeah. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, that. Well, that's good. Over there. Right. Yeah, yeah welcome. bueno stardust. Welcome to the United States. Absolutely. Yeah. Good to have you here. Wee oui, wee. Oui. No, my favorite group was, uh, they were they're from L.A., they were called the Beagles. Oh, the, the Beagles. Beagles. The Beagles. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah. The Beagles were from England. You're thinking huh? of the Eagles. Uh, the uh, the Eagles. 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 And what a great group they are. A lot of them have moved on or are getting out of the music business. And some of them looking for jobs in their retirement, maybe a few hours in the morning, afternoon, not all day. And they updated their biggest hit to reflect just that. On a dark desert highway, the cool wind in your hair, the warm smell of a subway rising up through the air. You see a sign in the distance that says, we're open all day. And as you walk into the doorway, that's when you'll hear me say, hey, I'm a greeter at Walmart in California. Yeah, I work the door, yeah, I work the door. at the superstore. Yeah. I hand out stickers at a Walmart in California. Where my vest is blue and my hair is too. Job, Paul. Excellent job. So the Beagles. That Wonderful. was fun. Enough of this rock and roll, though, because this is Brandon, Missouri. Yes. And Brandon. the people come here for one reason. That's yep. for the hip hop. No. I'm all about my banjo, about my banjo. No, boy, no. No. <laughs> Straight out no. of Hollister. No, it's country western. Oh, country, country, country western. You're talking about music right now. Oh, oh, hey. Wow. What wow. Is, wow. Up. What? Where'd my walker go? <laughs> like a, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Like a Benny Hinn service. Yeah, Look at that. That's amazing. I got it. I got it. I, I got it. You like country music? Yeah, I love country music. Really? Yeah. yeah I just, in fact, when I'm not in the band here, I write some country music myself. You wrote a country song. Yeah, my latest one is called It's Hard to Kiss the Lips at Night That Chewed My Butt Out All Day. Okay. <laughs> Sad. Yes, from personal experience. Bless your heart. That's what it is. We should probably do something more recognizable, though. We, Maybe. We opened for a country guy back in the 90s. Who's that guy? We did uh, Girth Brooks. Oh, yes, Girth. Oh, he's, I saw him at Legends. He's Girth. wonderful. He's, he's very good, very professional. Yeah. He's getting older, though, Girth is. Yeah. In fact, he rewrote his biggest hit to kind of match his age. See if you can identify. My buddies and me were once wild and free. Now we're not doing so great. Used to go down, tear up the town. Now we're all in bed by eight. Our parties are fewer. We're sipping in sure instead of our glass of champagne. And when we get together, we just talk about the weather. And all we ever do is complain. Cause all my friends have hip replacements cause they slipped and fell in their garage or basement we're old and pale and our bones are frail yeah years ago we were stealing bases now we spend our time having wheelchair races cause all my friends have hip replacements Thank you for this one, thank you so much. Thank you. One more big round of applause for the fabulous sweater man. Yeah. Yeah,
If you're ever down in Texas and feeling all alone, there's a lot of kicking places just south of San Antonio. Ain't nothing fancy, mind you, just a place for good folks go. You can hear the boot heels start to click when they yell, Cotton Eye Joe! Time ago, have not been for Cotton Eye Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, clap along with us, folks. Here we go now. and the Jamboree Singers. You're on in three, Dr. Phil. Let's make some cookies. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Branson, Missouri. It's Dr. Phil. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We got a heck of a show for you today. Thank you, ma'am, for laughing at that impression, too. I appreciate that. I always get to thank your audience individually. I've been visiting with a woman who is going through a tough time right now. Started out emailing me, called me on the phone, Rob, said, I'm really hurting right now, Dr. Phil. I got to see you for my problem ASAP. I said, ma'am, I can't help you with that right now. I'm on vacation in Branson. She said, what a coincidence. I'm on vacation in Branson, too. I said, why don't we meet then and see if we can help you? She's here today, ladies and gentlemen. She's sitting right here is who she is. Absolutely. Bless your heart. Come on up here, you poor thing. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, come on over here. She's a Aren't you like something? Very good. Hold on right there. Look at you. Aren't you well, Mr. Fingernail some no painted place. birdie? She's My goodness. Allie. Oh, yes. Oh. Well, Allie. Right winner. over here, Allie. Have a seat right there next to Dr. Phil. Watch your step, Allie. Poor thing. Allie, look at me. Look at Dr. Phil. You're hurting, aren't you, Allie? Oh, yeah. Don't cry, Allie. Don't cry yet. Don't cry. Keep it together. Where are you from, Allie? Tell the folks where you're from. California. California. Okay. Uh, it is. It's a long ways from the porch. And what do you, what do, you do out there in California, Allie? I manage real estate. And it's real estate, okay, like commercial property, private property, condos, what do you do? Apartments. Apartments, okay. How many apartments you got there? You got to manage, Allie? Buildings. Couple. couple buildings. Okay, so you're not very good at it all then, are you? Just a <laughs> couple buildings. I'm just kidding. Now, how long have you been doing that? Oh, about 20 years. 20 years. Good for you. And, and who's that sitting out there with you oh, with his phone right there, Allie? Who is? My wonderful husband, Wyatt. Wonderful husband, Wyatt. Okay. And uh, is Wyatt your first husband? No. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, he wouldn't have been my first choice for you either, Allie. Actually, I'm just funny. What, is, what does Wyatt do out there in California, Allie? He's actually a DJ. A DJ? Really? Yeah. For, I guess, um, that's a radio station job there? Okay. Which radio station does he work at? It's actually online only. Online only, so he's not very good at his work either then, is he? Bless his heart. I'm just funny. What, to give us a quick plug here, Allie, for Wyatt's program. What is it? It's called The Show About Nothing on Boss Boss Radio, and that's because he's slightly crazy, too. Slightly crazy, too. Well, perfect. Well, I have definitely picked a couple of dandies here, I can tell. 
Well, Allie, we are here today to talk about your problems, and unfortunately, the problem does kind of hinge and center around, around Wyatt, and you know what I'm talking about, don't you? And we're going we're gonna to get right to it, Allie. You're surrounded by people that love you, that people support you, they want to help you, lift you up, but the problem, it's Wyatt's drinking, isn't it? <laughs> Not really. Yes, it is. Allie, I'll never forget, their very first email said, uh, why it's drinking a lot, so that's not good. How you handle it? She said, not well. When he comes home and he's been drinking, you remember what you'd do. You'd get mad. You'd get angry with him. You'd get violent, Allie, and you'd just hit him with his microphone, wouldn't you? <laughs> I suppose I might. You would. She did. She'd whip him like a rented mule. But I told her, I said, Allie, don't do that tonight. If Wyatt comes home and he's been drinking, I want you to try something different. You remember what I told you? Yeah, you remember. Be kind to him. Try a little kindness. See if that don't change him. That very night, Wyatt came home and he had him a snoot full, didn't he? You know, you know what that means, Allie? I suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that means he was messed up like a soup sandwich is what it means. But you know what? She met him at the door. She didn't get mad. She didn't hit him with the microphone, gave him a hug and a kiss, led him into his favorite chair, sat him down, put the remote in his hand, said, here you watch whatever watch on TV. I'm going to go in the kitchen fix supper. And you made a... You made a nice meal, didn't you, Allie? Yeah. yeah, she did. And after supper, she led him right back into that chair, sat him down, slid off his shoes, commenced to rub in his feet, didn't you, Allie? Of course. Of course you did, yeah, yeah. Then you moved up here, started kind of rubbing on his on his calves, didn't, didn't you, Allie? Yeah, she did. Then she moved up here, started kind of rubbing on his thighs, didn't you, Allie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she looked up at him. She said, Wyatt, baby, would you like to go back to the bedroom? And he said, I might as well. I'm going to get a beating when I get home anyhow. Oh. Right, Allie? Right. Whatever you say, right? You just want this to be over with, don't you? You got that. Yes, <laughs> yeah, well, it's not because I think your problems are beyond my, uh, my pay grade. I brought along some help here. He's actually a psychic to the stars. I know psychics are very popular in California. Spec Stepstool, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out, Spec. Take your time, Spec. Oh, wow. Shorten Over here. A little far, aren't they? I forgot how to stop. Spe okay. Hi. Spe hi. Good Howard. to have you here. This is Allie. Oh, hi, Allie. I am Spec. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. Nice to meet you. Yes. Lovely lady you are. Yes, oh, she is. No, what's the problem, my she, dear? She's having some real issues with her husband right oh. now, Speck. I was hoping that you, with your psychotic abilities, yes. could, could see into the problem here yes. and give uh, us a reading. Yes, I, I can give you a psychotic reading, that's for sure. So, I, this, I am a specialist in the hurtings of the feelings. That's what I am. I am going to reach into my psychic sack. This is my psychic sack, okay? Oh. Psychic sack. That's where it's at. Psychic sack. That's where it's, it's, you don't know that song. Okay, all right. Now, lady, I'm aware it didn't go over, Tracy. Thank you. All right, now, let's see here. Uh, go into, ooh, this is my psychic check. This is the infinity ball, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody say, ooh. Ooh, ah. Oh, this is very nice. No, this is a little deal here wait, that wait, I wait. use many times. Spec, what? what? Not, it's not an infinity ball. That's a, it's, a, it's an eight ball. That's actually a toy I had when I was a kid. Oh, it's an eight ball. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Oh, that's how you use it. Let me see yeah. here. <clears throat> Concentrate and try again. Okay. It says the same thing. Okay. All right, now let's try another one. Oh, uh, let's see here, my what? psychic check. Oh, that's where it's at. This is my magic ball, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody say, ooh, ooh, ah. This is my magic crystal ball. I got this wonderful thing at Home Depot. That's Good. where I got it. Yes, oh, I look into it often to help the people with the feelings and the hurtings and stuff. Oh, a man came to me and he did not trust his wife. Ooh. Did not trust his wife at all. So I looked into my crystal ball. And I said, you, sir, are the father of two. two. And he said, no, that's what you think. I am the father of six. And I said, no. Mm, no, that's what you think. Okay, thank you, Spec. A big hand respect, Stepstool, and for the lovely Allie. Here's two tickets to come back and see any show anytime. Give Allie another hand, ladies and gentlemen. She's a good sport. And give Wyatt a hand, too. And tune in online to the show about nothing. Watch your step going. I'm, I, think, I think Allie's the one that's been drinking. I'm sorry, Allie. Goodness. Well, after that, we should probably do some gospel music. What do you think, huh? Probably a good idea. We're going to turn things over to the master of the gospel piano. Tracy comes to us. Actually, he's all the way from California. While living out there, he and his music are featured in television, as well as full-length motion pictures. He was even a weekly regular on the Trinity Broadcasting Network. But nowadays, we're proud that he calls Branson home. Y'all make welcome right now, the amazing Tracy Easton.
Tracy Heaston the Grand Man when the roll is called up yonder. Woo. Great job, buddy. You know, folks, we're awful proud of our gospel roots here at Grand Country. We would not even consider doing a show without including some. And right now, here to do a couple gospel tunes. Sure, lift your spirits. Once again, the Jamboree Singers. Come on out, guys. Gospel time.